well hello there how you doing um so i'm gonna be doing a tutorial today i don't know what i'm gonna do but i'll tell you what i already put on my makeup forever hd foundation as you guys saw in my last tutorial um well my foundation routine because in my next tutorial i'm editing right now it's the 20 dollar makeup challenge Mm. I'm going to be using a powder that I use in this, so you'll just see this before and then this video you'll see, because I love the powder. But anyways, I've, I applied my foundation with this brush all over my face. This is just a BH Cosmetics flat brush. And I blended it in with my Sigma F80. I got this a couple weeks ago. This is my baby. I'm in love with it. As you can see, I've been using it. And what I did is I just buffed the foundation in a little bit more because this does leave it kind of because you can't really buff with this it's just kind of like packing it on so I did that and I just buffed around the edges sorry the lighting went really weird right there come on focus focus okay so I just buffed the edges and everything so yeah and someone's calling me and that's Natalie I'll be right back eating cup noodles Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so, going on with the tutorial, um, I foundation everything, baby lips. Um, now I'm going to be applying a cream blush. I'll figure out what to call this after it's all done. So, yeah. Um, I got this palette quite a while ago. I got this at Ulta. This is called the Secret Garden Collection by Ulta. And, um, it's just... These looks are really ugly. I don't know if I showed you this already or not. If I did, apologies. But anyways, um, these are all the colors. Oops. Very nice spring colors and everything. But the blush I'm going to be using is this cream one. It's called Sweet. And I'm just going to be taking my foundation brush just because there's no need in wasting brushes. And I actually like how these kind of brushes apply um, cream blushes. So I'm just going to be applying it to the backs of my cheeks. And I didn't powder my skin yet, so cream on cream works really well. So, just going to... I like bringing it up to my temples, and you can't even see it go up your temples, so... It's a good thing. And what I do is I just try to focus not on this area, this kind of triangle area. I just focus the blush like that. Oh, there's my makeup. Hey, hey. I reach over here to get my makeup, so... Just in case you see me going over there. So, let me just grab... I sharpened this yesterday. No, not yesterday. The other day, but doesn't matter. So this is the Maybelline Expert Wear uh, eyebrow um, pencil, and this is in blonde. And this really fills my eyebrows in and gives it structure. So, need. sorry if you can see my little palette thing. So I just do my brows. I try to define them. So, just kind of drawing a natural line and just kind of making the sparse hairs in the front. Obviously, I'm going to brush them out, but this is how I do it. Use my Maybelline Angled Brush. You can use this for anything practically. Um, and I'm going to be getting my Aziza palette, my brow palette. If you guys have watched my other videos, this is not a brow palette. I don't use the greens, I just use these main colors. So I'm going to be taking two swipes of the ashy color and one swipe of the darker color. So two, one. And then what I do is I start off and I fill in the front. It's kind of going with that same line. And again, I'm going to brush through this right after, so don't worry. As I get towards the back, I'm going to take two swipes and one of the ashy. And then I'm just going to press that at the point of my brow. And then I'm going to get the dark color, the dark brown, and just fill that at the end. I look like a bushy gorilla right now. <laughs> don't worry, I'm, trust me, I'm going to blend it out. Because I don't, I wouldn't want to keep my brows like this. Because um, it looks kind of scary. So I'm going to take, and it's all the way back here my spoolie aren't I fancy this is just a fancy tutorial so um, I have my BH Cosmetics spoolie I'm going to be taking that okay 
How do you clean a spoolie? I don't know if you can clean it. I don't know. Anyways, I'm just going to go through the front. Press kind of strong. This is a strong um, kind of brush. So you don't have to go super rough or else I think you'll hurt yourself. <laughs> um, so as you can see, it really softened that line. I'm just going to go all the way through. I'm not going to go as strongly at the end. But it really softened it, as you can see. And that's why I per what I prefer more. Spoolies are great for this if you need to soften your color out. I just kind of brush up and sharpen that angle. That is how the brows are done. On to concealer and stuff like that. So, I have my erase paste and my Sonia Kashuk blending brush. I know my foundation routine, I said I don't like fluffy brushes, but I use another fluffy brush and I forgot what brushes that was, but I like this. Cornell brush number 10, and I kind of did this in my foundation routine. What I do is I just take this, I put it over my lid just to even it out, and I also like to use it as somewhat of a base. And I just get the extra and kind of sharpen my brows just to clean anything up. I don't like to get, I'm not going to get, um, like, it and then, like, super define it because that does not look natural. To me. So now I'm going to close this up. And then what we're going to do now is the eyes. I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to use my Naked 2 palette, kind of. I don't know why. Um, maybe some matte color. Let's put a highlight first. I'm going to take this little spongy brush thing. I find these give a lot of coverage. Actually, I have one that I use for my ABC gum from Urban Decay. I'm just going to use it with Foxy that's in this palette, so... It's this side and this just came with a NYX thing that I don't want um, that I mean that I'm using so I'm just gonna press this this is a yellowy tone kind of um, highlight and I just bring it down to here just blend out the edges like there so it is June 15th and I filmed my $20 makeup challenge yesterday as I said earlier and I'm putting it up today I'm gonna put like videos up a day if I can I just so as again I got my new keyboard and I'm just so excited to edit all these stuff so yeah let's see let's get an all over lid brush what can we do well Let's see, let's do, I'm gonna get T's on the fluffy kind of 222 brush, like from MAC kind of, I guess. I'm gonna get T's, which is just this taupey color, and I'm gonna put this in the crease. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this in the crease. I guess as a transitioning color. Okay, let's see, I have my drawer open, ooh, okay, okay, I'm going to be using, let's see, ooh, okay, let's use this color, let's go for like a neutral kind of smoky eye, I guess, I'm going to take Satin Taupe from MAC, Ooh, let's do a pop of color with this. So this is not the pop of color, but get satin taupe from MAC. Flat brush. Okay. Just gonna put this all over the empty area that I left. I love satin taupe. I'm just kind of... Uh, angling it up so it's kind of blending on its own. I'm going to take my MAC 217 and kind of blend 
that out let's see an idea let's take teas and on a small kind of fluffy brush like this and locate it I guess I should zoom in shall I so we're just gonna locate this on the bottom. I'm gonna go quite thick, just so it's kind of the transition color for satin tilt. So I'm just gonna kind of match that up. Just gonna blend it with your finger. It's out because you're kind of up close to personnel. All right. So now I'm going to take. Let's take. Why did I close that? Um, satin taupe again. I'm going to take it on the more of the tip of the brush rather than like the whole rim of the brush. Um, I'm just going to put this a little bit closer to my lashes. And I didn't put concealer down here because I didn't know I was going to do this. So apologies. Thing. Let's take. I have one of my favorite kind of eyeshadows from Mac. Oh, I got to find you. Okay. Is it, yep. Got it. First one I grabbed. Brown script from Mac. This is just a very warm brown color. It's a matte. So I only did one dab. Look at that pigmentation. So I'm gonna use. And I close the mirror again, which I always do. Um, so I'm gonna tran, kind of make that a transition, another transition color, just a little bit deeper, and to kind of warm the look up. So I'm just gonna put this in the crease again. Let's take booty call. I think that's the best highlight color for the inner corner. And we're just gonna, as I said a couple seconds ago, put it in the inner corner. Bring that down. Well, I just like totally poke myself in the eye. So I'm bringing that up into the colors and bringing it down into those colors. So it just kind of brightens up the eye after all this darkness around here. Curious. I don't know. I can't describe it. I really like it. That sounded really attitude. I was like, I don't know. I'll scare you about it. Concealer. Oh, actually, no. Oh, no. Wait, should I? Yeah. I'm going to put on concealer right now. So what I do is I just dip this in 360. Just one dab for each side. Just like that. And I just really lightly put this underneath my eyes and in my inner corners most of all just because I do I am really dark right there um, I'm gonna get a mirror so I can see how I look this brush gives the most airbrushed flawless finish to the concealer it's like amazing if I have too much I just dab it on my hand and just go from there again so, let's see here. Now, I'm going to mm, a plur. A plur. I'm just kidding. Um, before this creases, I'm going to set it with my most favorite powder. I just got it yesterday. I used it in my $20 makeup challenge. I love it. It's the e.l.f. Um, tone Correcting Powder. And it has all these... These are for redness, and these are for, like, brightening. So... I'm going to take a mix of the yellow and the pink, mostly the pink, and I'm going to put this where my concealer lays. This will just brighten it up as well as set it. That is satin finish, and I love it. Like, ugh, I love this powder. And it's only $3, which is a hella deal, as 
Benji says. I always say that now because I watch It's Judy's Tyfe. I mean, the Tyfe life and Benji. He always says it's a hella deal. So, like, I always say that now. Eyes. Now I'm gonna take my blush brush from BH Cosmetics and I clean this. It's been clean, but I saw it and I was like, "Ooh, I'm gonna thirty you up." I'm just kidding. I'm just gonna swirl it in all the colors. Just to be colorful. Set my foundation since I had I let it set for a long time I don't know if you guys can see the finish of that powder oh my gosh it's just so beautiful back going back to the eyes um I also bought this baby right here elf um, cream eyeliner in black this thing is super creamy but it sets really fast so I'm going to line my eyes with it I decided and you make sure, you want to make sure when you close it, it's actually closed because this thing can dry out pretty fast. Um, I'm assuming, doesn't it? I wonder how many time I'm ta how much time I'm taking. 29 minutes, and I have 15 minutes left on this, so I better hurry up. So with the cream liner, I'm going to be using this brush from BH Cosmetics. This is just a fine liner brush. I'm gonna get off camera for this because I need to go up close and personal and be very careful with this. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so I just did a winged liner, nothing too special. For the pop of color, I'm going to be taking Ulta's Emerald. And I'm just going to be putting this in the waterline. Careful. Okay, I'm going to get my blush brush. It's the e.l.f. professional bronzing. We all know it's not professional, but anyways. I'm going to, it's just an angled brush. I'm going to get Fuchsia Fusion, which I bought yesterday, which is in my tutorial that I use for my $20 makeup challenge and I actually really like this. Um, I have five other e.l.f. blushes but um, I love them all but I wanted to use this one today again. And I just, I think this one has the most pigmentation out of all of them that I have. Um, just because it shows up better. Okay, coming over. Coming, coming, okay. My Hula Bronzer Red Benefit. And my icing expert powder flat brush. This is just like a just a flat brush. Okay, and I'm just gonna swirl this into the bronzer, tap off any excess, and slightly contour and add some color to my face. It's, um, if you guys are doing summer reading. Read Down a Dark Hall by Lewis Duncan. It's the greatest book ever. I'm not a big reading person, and I read six chapters yesterday, and I am i only got it last week, and I'm on chapter 15, and there's 19 chapters, and it's almost done. It's just a great book. <sighs> if you get scared easily, I don't i don't suggest this book because it is quite, kind, of a, kind of like a thriller. Um, that's what I like about it, though. Um, I'm going to be using Hush. This is the Compulsive Cosmetics. And I'm going to use this brush because it's the brush I use for a lot of things. Creams, mostly. Okay, I'm just going to get the right amount that we need. Just that much. That's all you need. And taking this onto my lips. This has a very faint um, mint to it. It's not like overpowering. Use this. I'm gonna be using Urban Decay's lip gloss that comes in the Naked Two kind of a thing. I'm just gonna get some on my finger. So that is the finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, the eyes are just. Let me close. Let me turn this off. Topi, you can see it much better, like the darkness of it. Um, and the lips, very neutral, cheeks and everything, pop of color and everything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful summer and a day. When I say summer, just have a wonderful day. Because I'm going to see you not long after this. Okay, bye.